So today we're doing things just a little bit different. Um, if you can see behind me, this is the Everyday Daily Beater. It's a 2006 Chevy Trailblazer with the 4.2 liter in it. Um, it's a straight six. It takes seven quarts of oil um, and the oil weight is 5W30. Um, I will be crawling underneath of it here in a minute and I'll show you where the drain plug is and the oil filter. Uh, both are underneath, like it's an older vehicle so the oil filter is not gonna be on top. Um, fair warning, it is cold here today, so I will be running the heater in the garage. But uh, let me crawl under there with the light, get to it, and I'll show you what to do. So again, sorry about the noise. Like I said, it's cold. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, whenever you're up top, um, pull the oil cap off. It helps with uh, draining the oil a little quicker. Um, but under here, if you still have this cover, um, this is held on by two 10 millimeters. Um, and basically, it just spins out of the way. The drain plug would be right there. That is a 13 millimeter. And then, let me get the light up in there. There is the oil filter. So, hopefully they didn't crank it on too tight and I can get it out with my hand. But uh, let me get these off and uh, I'll show you what to do with the new filter. So the drain plug, I'm sure there's a torque spec for it. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, this vehicle, the last oil change was not done by me and whoever put it on was way entirely too tight. Um, you know, just good and tight is good. I don't know if they put it on with an impact or not. Um, but while this is draining, uh, I'm gonna see if I can reach my hand up in there and untwist the filter. Um, it's kind of hard to do with one hand and hold the camera, so I'm probably gonna have to put you down. But this is a good look at northern vehicles. This is, and the bad part is, this is kind of in good shape for what it is. So um, I let the oil finish draining and I put the drain plug back in. This is one of the flaws of the Trailblazer. I feel like they could have really put the oil filter in a different location because there is a little bit of oil left in there and it's draining everywhere. So it's something you're gonna have to clean up, but unless you don't care. Um, but there is going to be a little bit of oil that will drain from there. And then what I do is whenever I put the new one back on, I put a little bit of oil around the rubber O-ring, make sure that the O-ring from the old one's still not there and then just hand tight it on. Um, I struggled to get this filter off too, so apparently whoever did this oil change last, um, I guess they felt like it needed all of the torque. Again, sorry about the noise, but it's cold in here. Uh, so this is what I got. Um, it does take seven quarts, and I forgot two of the quarts, so I'm gonna have to go back and get them. Uh, it's been a while since I did an oil change on one. Um, here's the part number for Advance Auto's finest oil filter. Uh, this is one of their packages. You know, I think I paid like 36 bucks and I had 10 dollars in speed perks. Anyway, once you're done under there, uh, come back up here. The oil cap is right here. Uh, I'll put a funnel in it, feed uh, the whole gallon in there, and then it may take a quart and a half, maybe the full two quarts. So once you have tightened the drain plug, put the oil filter back on, and put that little cover back or the access cover back under um you come up here and of course you know this is the dipstick and there's where you actually pour it in um with a funnel or if you're good you can pour it in freehand um it takes seven quarts i had to run to the store and grab two more quarts because i forgot two of them um so once you at least get six and i would start it up uh let it run for a little bit and then once it um, shut it off and then once it gets all the oil drains out at that point then you can check the dipstick um, there will be two marks on it um, a high and a low and of course you'll want to be on the top one um, now I have to wipe this off because I haven't ran it yet but you'll see um, I'll put six quarts in and we'll see what it looks like on the dipstick Okay, so I pulled the I poured the last oil, the six quart in. Um, let it run a little bit. And then shut it off. Give it about thirty seconds and check the dipstick. Um, I'll wait. I'm not gonna 
do it real time. I'll show you what the dipstick looks like once I clean it off. So I let the oil drain down into the oil pan. Like I said, this is only six quarts. You can see where it is. It's only about halfway through. Um, I'm gonna dump the last quart into it and it should be good to go. And like I said, if you guys have any comments, questions, anything like that, um, feel free to put it in the comment section. Um, I'm sure, you know, everybody uses their own kind of oil. Uh, with this being a beater, this gets whatever's the cheapest. So um, thanks for watching. And like I said, if you guys have any comments or anything, drop a, a like and then comment below.